What's up guys? So I feel like I'm always making a video inside the garage, but it's cause it's a little windy right now. So to put as weather outside messes up the audio and everything. So I figured I'll just close the door. But look at this, a shout out to Chasing Jays, man. Look at this, this new thing that they made for our 1.5 Ts. So for all you 1.5 T owners, uh, 1.5 engine in the Honda, I believe, maybe in the CR in the CRV as well. SIs for sure, the Civics has to be a certain cover that this fits on. It doesn't fit on all the 1.5 um, Ts. It fits on the updated uh, valve cover thing, whatever. I'll show you guys right now what I'm talking about. So we got the antlers and the nose on the baiting, doing the full wrap again. Might just do it just for like a video or something and drive it around park it somewhere get people's reactions for the whole day and then just it flies off it flies off you know debating the lights because last time i put on the lights it just scratched everything it scuffed up the duckbill a good amount like look at it you can still see the little scuff right there all those scratches it's from those damn lights look at that a couple scuffs here and there you can see in the light like right there there's a whole bunch man like that's why i'm debating it or i'm gonna just wrap christmas wrap the wing with the duck bill and then wrap the lights around it. Just add a little wrap if I'm not gonna do the full car, you know? And then the front, the reason I debate it is because I use it way more now. And plus the hood, I don't know how I'm gonna do the hood to cut out the thing, the vents, but I'll, I'll figure it out if I do it. We get a sick ass valve cover piece. It's gonna look sick in the engine bay. I'm gonna go right here. And what I'm talking about is they designed it so that look, right here we have one, two, two dots there's one that has one two three things right here and it's like a different designer right here too so that that version this does not work for that you need to have the updated version which is i believe they fixed it because they tried fixing that oil dilution problem or lowering it a bit and they did something different with this like the air release system or something under i don't know guys um don't quote me on that but that's why they updated it and you need these two dots only. If you have the three, this won't fit. They even emailed me and told me, hey, just go check your car right now. Make sure, because we don't want to charge you, then send you it and it doesn't fit. Then you you just wasted your time, wasted money. Then you need a refund, send it back, all this, this, and that, you get me? So that's pretty cool that Chasing Jays hit me up. It's going to be cool because I already have a couple of Chasing Jays pieces right here. Look, I don't know if you guys have noticed before, but I got this right here the um, window reservoir fluid cover. I don't even use it because I deleted that whole system on the hood. I don't even have them. Like their open holes are right there. I don't I don't utilize that guys. I just keep my window clean, ceramic coated um, with some atom polish ceramic coating and then just wipe it down with some hydrophobic um, ceramic uh, spray from Chemical Guys and it keeps it pretty good for me. So uh, yeah, I got that in the titanium, the burnt color. And then I got this right here too. Hell yeah, guys. Hell yeah. I was debating swapping out this too, but I want to rep my PRL fam too, you know? I like repping um, different brands, not just everything the same. Because, you know, we got the PRL titanium turbo inlet pipe, and those pieces right there are titanium. Right here and right here. And then now the new valve cover. Hell yeah. And that's pretty cool that they sent me a sticker. They didn't send me a sticker. Actually, they did, but it was like a little, like some little sticker type of thing. But it's just pretty cool. But I don't know if I'll put on the car or not, but it's pretty cool. It's beast chasing Jays, hell yeah. And look at this, so this basically goes somewhere right here. And then, hell yeah. Then also guys, it even comes with a little badge. Look at this, it comes with this badge right here to put it right here, which I'm gonna do to get rid of this freaking Earth Dreams. I was debating um i was debating eventually you know getting a custom valve the valve cover custom painted to like wrinkle red or something to match my my um intercooler pipes but i said but i saw this and i was like you know what this is gonna be better cheaper too it's about one 165 ish around there 167 ish. so it's just a pretty good thing right now guys and might as well get it while they're in stock they're in stock right now and they have different designs they have i got them with the line the open line thing they have one that's just blank so maybe you could take it somewhere get like a custom badge on it if you want like a cool like a fabrication shop 
or something or you put like a tagging or something if you want or they have one that's not burnt just the raw metal no burnt no burnt titanium but that's pretty cool makes me want to get this burnt but not all all of it burnt just the weld so like right here will be burnt and then over here it'll be burnt i'm debating it though because I, I need a blowtorch and i don't want to mess it up but we'll see about that guys so let's get the install going just two little screws basically it's basically just not this one but this one and then this one and that's pretty much it and then just stick on the badge and then this is what i like is that they come with this how to take care of your titanium basically when installing this do not hold it with your fingerprints that's what i even said with this like this every time i'm like oh man like i'm always trying to clean it keep it clean and shiny you know so it could look nice all right guys so like i said it's this one right here right under the oil cap so it is a 10 millimeter 10 mil 10 millimeter Ooh, that thing cracks and yeah just take it off man look at this i just found a random ass twig what is this doing here man no munching no munching all right one is off and then this one this one right here look this one not this one not this one this one right here it's also a 10 millimeter just take it off that one was easy simple simple straightforward yeah they provide you with two new ones look at that a long one and a short one and a washer to match them so i believe the long one will go on this side and the short one will go on that side because that's just how like you could literally tell and then let's just give it a little limpiada you know, a little limpiada. I need to do my spark plug changes. Uh, I need to do them soon, guys. I'm at 33K. Would you recommend I wait until 40,000? I tuned the car at 20,000. 20,000 miles, like 19,500, up until 29,000. I was on power metric, then I switched to Furable, the race tune, and then now I swapped my oil to the 5w30 i'm at 33k now i just did my recent oil change at 31 700 i'm at 33 now so I, I should just do it at the next oil change right guys what do you think you let me know because i'm debating because there's people that tell me nah you don't need to do it until 100 i'm like bro but it's tuned you get me it's tuned and i'm not trying to mess it up i'm trying to keep I take good care of it, so I'd rather get it done earlier. And I already have the spark plugs, they're just sitting. So let me know your thoughts on that. Make sure you got gloves and make sure when you're opening this thing, look at that, I'm just ripping it, man. Me vale madre, fool. It don't matter. Just, just make sure not to bend it, man. See how it looks out of the plastic. Titanium burnt with the line design. Bro, this thing looks sick. Look at this. And in the sun at car shows, this thing's gonna look sick. So basically guys, it goes right here. Literally right here. Like look, you can even tell that you're gonna need the long washer right here and then a shirt washer uh, over here. And then yeah, and then look, there it is, bam. Bro, that's freaking cool. That looks freaking sick right there, man. Hell yeah. And it matches the titanium over there. And then like I said, I'm gonna need to get this probably to match it even more. Hell yeah, hell yeah. All right, cool. So it comes with this, this right here, the washers, and then the, the two things. Oh, and it comes with some clear, clear washers to not mess up the titanium on the top. That's pretty cool. And then it comes with burnt titanium um, screws also. You guys see that? That's freaking sick, man. Shout out to Chasing Jays, man. That's high quality right there. And then for these new ones, it's um an Allen wrench. Yeah, it's one of these guys. Uh, I'm not sure what they're called. Allen wrench, Allen key, whatever. But it's a five uh, millimeter. Fits right in there. So make sure you get that ready. Get your screws ready. And then basically, we're going to start off with the long washer. So you just put it in there. I mean, you could put it before. It'll probably be easier with both hands. Um, and then you get the long one. Make sure you put the, this is what I'm doing right here is like, I'm gonna get the long one and then a little clear washer. It comes with two of them right here. Look, I'm trying to separate them right now. You get these two washer things. And that's just, I believe it is to protect the titanium on the top. Like when you're tightening it down. Yeah, there it is. Look at that, done, bam, right there. And then now just put it right here. Line it up with the hole. 
And then just tighten it. Right now, just tighten it by hand. Make sure that long washer's right there. Then a clear washer above. And then just by hand for now. Cause it says you need to like balance it out a bit. Then this thing has like little pelitos. I'll wipe it down here now at the end when I'm done. It says you could clean it. Um, literally says right here. Well, it says, thank you, you know? Well, thank you, Chasing J is freaking dope. Then it says to use a Clorox wipe, make sure they're cold to the touch. I'm um, use Clorox wipes and then dry microfiber towel. So yeah, uh, you could also use soapy water or water is good too. Clean water, clean water is good too. Just don't use like, like um, special sprays guys. Just make sure not to use special sprays. You can mess up your thing. Uh, waterless car wash. I wouldn't recommend it. Don't do not do that. Just like soapy water is pretty good. Yeah, guys, so I'm putting this one in now. It's like a little, it's like a little weird trying to line it up, but it lines up once you have the screw in there, then you lock, you could t start tightening it down. Hell yeah. And look at that, that already looks freaking sick, man. A little more, just something a little more for the engine bay. And then basically, it's already pretty good. It's lined up here. Doesn't have to be super smashed to the ground. I mean, super smashed down. It's right here. It's perfect. Looks good. And then now just get your get your thing and just tighten it. Tighten it down slowly, slowly. Not too much aggression, guys. One side done. Then do the other side. Oh, man. Don't do that, guys. Don't do that shit right there. There we go. Sick as hell. Look at that. Hell yeah. I'll show you guys more. I'll show you guys more uh, in the sun. I think that PRL one right there, I might need to change it. I might need to change it to something else. But then at the same time, like I got my whole red theme going in here too, guys. Like I got the Mishimoto pipe, the DC, the PRL battery tied down on the site. Hmm, you know? I'm gonna just keep it like that, you know, be a little more unique. Also got my Siri Moto washers right here. So yeah, but that's pretty good right there, man. Hell yeah. So per instructions of how to clean it, we're just gonna wipe it down with the Clorox wipe. Get rid of all this damn freaking little pelitos. I think that's how the pelitos are there because of the Clorox wipe. So I would recommend just a microfiber towel, whatever. Then you should be good. I'll wipe these down off too. And this one off, you know, and this one off on I me. Mean, look at that, look at that shininess. Then I'll just get my microfiber, wipe it one way. Wipe it one way, one way. Hell yeah, that's freaking sick, guys. I was debating getting the plain one, and I'm like, nah, the one with the line right through, it's gonna look better. So then now, all I gotta add is the little badge, and it already comes with 3M tape. I just put it over the, the thing that said Honda uh, Earth Dreams Turbo. I just put it over it, who cares, you know, F it. That's already stuck on there. I, I didn't want to struggle removing that, but there we go. Chase Chasing Jays valve cover for our 1.5 t turbo engines hell yeah guys that's freaking sick engine bay looking clean now look at that now i just feel like i need to hide this i feel like getting the pastor jdm a thing right here just for this part and that's it nothing else just that part maybe maybe this just to have it but hell yeah guys looks way better man engine bay looking way better don't mind the mesh right now Undercover style, wow, my my brother, rear view. You can never fly by, homie. I will see you. Mark five, change the reins if need be. Thou shall never floor pass. I would let the ID before you act on.